Good morning! It's actually the afternoon and I'm getting ready for a photo shoot. So I figured I'd do like a little get ready with me chit chat. Um, and just kind of go over like why I started a YouTube and I give some like photography tips if you're a beginner or what helped me get myself out there more. Um, anyways, so welcome back to my channel, our channel, Dylan and I's channel. <laughs> Hopefully y'all will grab your makeup or do your hair or something and get ready with me. You will like and subscribe or comment down below. Anyways, so let's get into it. First things first, I am not a makeup guru. I do not know what I am doing, so please do not come for me. <laughs> um, first things first, I already tied my hair back in a little ponytail. I don't do, like I don't have any of the clips or like the things that hold your hair back while you're doing your makeup once again because I'm not a freaking makeup guru. I don't know what I'm doing, but let's do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start out by using, I am a makeup guru. I'm gonna start out by using this Rare Beauty. It's like a, what do they call this? They're four in one mist, so it just, you shake it. I use it as a primer, like a priming spray and then as a setting spray as well. Um, so I am have a mirror right here, so I'm just going to spray it real quick. Then I'm just going to fan myself and wait till it dries. Okay, so I also wanted to like, one moment. So the reason, first of all, that I started a YouTube is because I am very lost in my life right now. Because I am a recent college graduate and I'm in that weird transition between like having a set schedule because of school and getting up and being really motivated to do a lot of things. And now I don't have any type of schedule. Like I have to create a schedule myself. I have to make myself get up in the morning and do all of that. So right now I'm just in like an awkward transition where I'm trying to figure out what the freaking heck I'm doing because I'm trying to find a career. I'm going back to get my masters and then yeah. So I just, I just, I'm very just feeling very awkward right now in life. Um, so I wanted to create this YouTube because basically I want to have fun and I want to do something <laughs> instead of just sit home all day and wait for people, wait for my photo shoots in the afternoon. So anyways, this will be fun. <laughs> um, what you guys are hearing right now is I do use this rare beauty. Oh, there you go. Okay. So anyways, I use this rare beauty, um, foundation which Rare Beauty has come out with a tinted moisturizer and I want to get that and try that because I've heard really good things about it and I hate, even though this is not super heavy, I just hate the way foundation feels on my face. I feel like I am being weighed down and I instantly need to go take a shower. <laughs> I hate makeup in general. I don't wear makeup a lot, but for the purposes of today, since we are getting ready for a photo shoot, I'm going to put some on to make myself look more presentable than this. So anyways, just gonna give this sucker a good shake because I haven't used it in decades. Not really decades, but you get me. I'm also gonna use this Mary Kay. Is Mary Kay even a thing anymore? <laughs> I'm gonna use this Mary Kay CC cream that I have also had for, I have had this, Oh my God, when, I think I was like maybe, this is like, I got this maybe four years ago and I get it, um, yeah, like I get that makeup expires and whatnot, but it still works for me, so I'm gonna go with it because I hate buying makeup. I just, 
anything makeup related is not for me. So why am I even doing this right now? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I started photography when I was, I think I was 18. Um, and I literally just got my, I got my mom's camera and it was like a foggy winter day one day and I got her camera and I went and took pictures of some cows. Some cows. And they were actually really good. Dylan, he's so sweet. He, the first ever picture that I took actually turned out fairly decent. And Dylan got it blown up and like printed out for me and we hung it on the wall. So cute. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put this like directly on my face. I mixed these two because why the heck not? <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyways, started photography when I was 18. Um, it is now my full-time job because you, as I've come to realize, if you major in psychology, which I did, and you only have your bachelor's, there is hardly anything that you can do with that straight out of undergrad, which is also why I'm gonna get my doctorate um, in neuropsychology, because I kind of want to do like brain imaging and stuff. Um, I'm gonna take this and just like dot it so I can mix it pretty good. I guess you understand. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this everywhere. It's also really freaking hot outside, so I'll probably sweat this off in like under 15 minutes. <laughs> Georgia weather. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna like blend this all together. Um, anyways, so yeah, I got into photography and I was working like job like little jobs here and there like i was a sales manager at a local gym around here um and then i was a physical therapist aide so basically i just pulled patients back to treatment rooms and got them hooked up to like machines and stuff um and then i was a chiropractic assistant which was that was actually pretty good that like that was you know i like interacting with patients and everything so that was pretty fun. And then the reason I was like in and out of jobs is because I would start a job on like a light school schedule and I'd be like, okay, like this is doable. And then school would ramp up and I'd be like, I'd be like 10, 10 months into these jobs. And I would just be like, oh my God, like I can't do this because school was just so much and i was not going to i just wanted school to be over with so i was not going to like lighten my school load for a job that's not going to be my career if that makes sense um and that's just how i that's how i thought you know i was like no i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna only take two classes a semester when i can take four or five and be done with it like a year sooner. I'm not gonna do that for a job. Heck no. So anyways, I did that. Um, and then back in, oh, when was this? Back in the fall of last year. So fall of 2021, like literally in August of 2021. Uh, we had, oh man, that is like prime busy season for photographers. and because you've got fall weddings and you've got senior pictures and you've got people doing family pictures and everything like that. Um, so I basically did, that did not, <sighs> my mirror just fell on me. <laughs> Okay, so basically I did start a photography full time um, back in August, like I said, of 2021. 
and I've been doing it full time ever since and there was a time period there where I was not making hardly any money because as a photographer you go in and out of busy seasons and I just didn't I did not know what to do or like how to market myself during off season because I'm I mean I'm not new to photography but I just don't I hate more like marketing myself even though that's my freaking business like whatever which I've gotten a lot better at it actually um, I'm just gonna like brush my eyebrows up um, anyways I get so many questions on how I do my eyebrows so if you want to know how I do my eyebrows this is the part for you <laughs> there like I said there was a, a time period where no business hardly any business then I Dylan and I actually started modeling and um, that was a lot of fun. I'm just gonna go in. So this is what I start doing my brows with. It's this Glossier Boy Brow. This is what it looks like. It's in the shade brown. You know what? I have a bone to pick with Glossier. Not that they even care. This thing, this is the only size that they have. And it is so small. And I run out of it so quickly. Anyways, I end up ordering this like once a month because if there is one thing I'm going to do for my makeup, it will be my brows and nothing else because I just love them. Anyways, so it just, just kind of looks like a, it's like a, do you call this a spoolie? I don't know, to me that's kind of what it looks like. So I'm just going to like brush them up. Dylan and I started modeling and we were modeling for our good friend. Um, her name is Alex, Alex Kelly photos. She's amazing. Um, so anyways, we were modeling for her and I kind of like, we sat down and we talked like, you know, how do you grow your photography business? And she's like, you have to be willing to invest and you have to be willing to put time in and effort in and you can't just wait for clients to come to you. You have to like market yourself and put yourself out there, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, cool. So I kind of just started, you know, not following, like I, well, obviously I followed what she did, but I didn't like try, I didn't, didn't like copy her. Well, she posts so much. So I started doing that and lo and behold it worked what do you know and so now business it's busy season again so i'm sure it'll slow down business is business is up and running you know it's just so so good right now but what i have decided to do in like slow season or off season is i am going to look for models and get them to model for me just so I can have content to post and so that I can stay proficient in like with my camera and with my editing and just stay in the swing of things. My whole issue is that I just don't, I've always said, you know, like I don't want photography to be my career. I am just I want to do something in psychology. I want to be a doctor so freaking bad. Like, I just don't want photography to be my full-time job. And as of right now, <laughs> clearly it is, which is okay with me because I have actually made, essentially made more money doing that than I would at like a nine to five, um, which it's not, you know, it's not all about money to me, but at the end of the day, I do have to, I do have bills to pay. Like, that's just it. I do have bills to pay. This is what I'm going to use next. It's this Glossier again. It's, um, Glossier and it's their brow flick in the shade brown. Um, so I'm just going to take this and, like, give myself extra... <laughs> Extra, fill in my brows basically and do extra hairs so when I'm doing my brows I always go up like straight up and then I'll fix them I started marketing myself and doing do, just doing all that stuff putting myself out there making reels because of the Instagram algorithm 
reels are the, all the hype now. Like, if you ain't making a reel, you ain't getting out there, you know? You know, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. What do you, what do you have to lose, honestly? Like, me, I have nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. So, I just found that that is like, quite honestly, the best way to just get myself out there is by marketing. And oh my God, also get your clients. If you are not doing this already, then what are you doing? <laughs> get your, make sure your clients tag you in their pictures because that's probably the most beneficial way that I found that people like the most the way that people have found me the most is through ta people tagging me that I took their, their pictures. So I always make sure my sweet, lovely clients tag me in their pictures. <coughs> so that way people know that I'm, I'm taking their pictures, you know? I'm gonna take this again and then just brush them up. Yeah, other than that, like, Photography is booming. Business is freaking booming right now. Dylan is being freaking amazing at my being my assistant. And you know, if y'all have any questions, not saying that I can answer them, but if y'all have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Um, and I'll just try to answer them for you. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with this Refi brow gel. This right here is a game changer. If you don't do anything else to your eyebrows, you need to get like, you need to get this because this will hold those suckers in place all day long. And even the next day because yeah, I slept in my makeup and yeah, I wake up the next morning and those suckers are still out there. I am just going to take this. It comes off a little bit, like it has like a little bit of a a white cast, I guess you could say. Um, so I just take this and brush them up one time. I only do it one time. And then I take this and brush over them so that I know that they're just like stuck. They're like stuck there. <laughs> uh, so if you mess up with this, you might as well take your makeup off and do it again. <laughs> All right, so let me just do this real quick. There we go. I don't know if you can see because the lighting is kind of dark, but anyways. Uh, now, I am going to go in with this Tarte Cream Bronzer. I don't even know if you can see this because the Tarte is like the same color. Anyways, I'm gonna go with this Tarte Cream Bronzer. This stuff is amazing. It blends so well so well for someone if you don't know what you're doing like me get this stuff right here <laughs> why back to why i started a youtube channel i just like i said i'm lost right now i'm just in like a transition phase in my life where i don't know what the heck is going on so i'm not hoping this will be like a distraction but i am hoping that this will kind of give me like more of a structured schedule um so like you film and then you edit and then you post on a certain day or whatever and i really i just decided that you know if i'm gonna do photography full time i might as well just freaking embrace it and i really want to educate you guys if you're trying to start photography or you just don't know what the heck you're doing or whatever i kind of want to educate you guys on everything that i know about photography which is honestly quite limited compared to some people i do admit um so i just kind of want to ed educate you guys on that but um anyways i'll just kind of go over what lens and well y'all saw in, in my last video i shoot with a canon 6d and that is like my go-to lens and that's what I use for all my photo shoots. I do have that backup Canon T3. I always have a backup in case something happens, especially if you shoot weddings. If you shoot weddings, that has been my saving grace sometimes. 
because if something goes wrong, you've got a backup there. So next I'm going to go in with this Rare Beauty blush in the shade Joy. Let me tell you something about this little, this little guy right here. Very, very pigmented. It only takes a small, tiny, little inch of a drop on your cheek and you are rosy baby now this shade I like the shade because it kind of looks like oh I've been laying out in the Sun and I got a little bit burnt like it just lets people know that you've been out in the Sun and I love that <laughs> so I'm just gonna take it and literally there is like this what is left on here is like non-existent but I'm still gonna take this and just brush it off whatever is on there. Then I'm just going to do one little tiny dot on each of my cheeks. Awesome. So I don't have like a nice brush. I don't know if y'all can see, but that is non-existent. Anyways, I don't have a nice, nice brush, so I'm just going to use my finger to rub this in. So not having like structure and a schedule and whatnot from college just really not having that just I would lay around all day I laid around all day for like two straight weeks and Dylan came home and he was like what are you doing and I was like I do not know <laughs> so he was like this is what we're gonna do we're gonna sit down and make you a schedule so I've started making myself a schedule like of things that I need to do that day even if I have nothing going on that day, I always, always go to the gym because that makes me feel good and I feel so accomplished when I do it. And I always try to get it done before lunch to like just test myself because if I get it done before lunch, I feel so accomplished. I'm like ready to take on the day, you know? Um, anyways, I'm going to go in with this. Um, what do you call this? It's the, it's the Rare Beauty Concealer that's it I'm just gonna put a dabble like right under my eyes um because I have extremely dark circles if y'all know of anything that gets rid of dark circles besides sleep <laughs> let me know um so I'm just gonna put it in the corner just like that back to photography or I'm all over the place I'm so sorry back to starting a YouTube I really just want to, like I said, educate you guys if, if I can on like what I know and little things like that. So the most important thing to me in photography is creating a relationship with your client. And you, you know what? Not even, okay, let me back up because to me that's not even the most important. The most important to me is you when you go to a photo shoot half of the time these people are so uncomfortable when they get in front of the camera they're they feel awkward all of that stuff so the most important thing to me is being bubbly and being fun and having a great personality and just kind of reassuring my client that hey I know you're like you're uncomfortable right now but I'm gonna make sure these are the best dang pictures you've ever had and that's what I like to tell my wedding clients is like hey this is your day I am here for you so whatever you want or whatever you're feeling tell me and I will fix it <laughs> the obviously there are certain things that I cannot fix but I will try my best to fix it what the heck I can't find my freaking found it I'm gonna brush those suckers up again because I just kind of pushed them down anyways yeah so my number one tip that I could give you guys is to be bubbly be fun don't just take them from pose to pose like get to know them and say if you're shooting a wedding and you're meeting with the couple say oh well, how did you guys get to know each other or tell me your love story or whatever 
go on a coffee date with them. I love getting coffee with my clients or I love just hanging out with them or getting to know them. Anything just to get to know them, basically. I'm gonna curl my lashes. So I'm just going to, this is so cheap. This is a drugstore mascara and it is so good. 10 out of 10. This is a Maybelline Colossal like volume, whatever. It's by Maybelline, I get it at Krogs. Kroger, sorry, I get it at Kroger. I call Kroger Krogs. It's Dylan and I's thing. I don't know if anybody else does that. <laughs> um, let me put this on and I'll be right back. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna put my lippies on. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Um, and I usually don't put lipstick on because it's not that important. But I am today because why the heck not?